Like any other consumable product, many differences including age, sex, income level, language, religious, and other cultural attributions affect how and how much a product is consumed, how it is accessed, and whether or not a consumer returns to the product as a repeat customer. New data out of Edison Research suggests audio consumption, that is transmitted and broadcast audio like podcasts and radio, might be determined by where a person lives. The company's newest report shows a definite difference in listenership of both podcasts and radio, depending on whether the listener resides and works in a predominantly urban, suburban, or rural setting. And some of the results might be surprising to some people. Keep listening to this episode of Before, Behind, and Between to get a better sense of who listens to podcasts and where they are located. The world of audio production is in transition. Radio stations are being sold, bought, and reformatted. Podcast companies have also reformatted. Some have been purchased by larger companies, and others still have shut down operations or refocused their business and operating models on other forms of distribution and revenue generation. Some of this is to be expected. We've known for years that listenership of radio is changing, increasing the pressure for radio to adapt and even reinvent itself. Podcasts have been around for a couple of decades, but the corporate structures that host, stream, produce, and distribute podcasts, as well as the related monetization efforts, have seen plenty of changes in the last few years. Recently, podcast has grown and matured during some fairly recent uncertain economic times, and quite simply, the podcast companies themselves have been forced to navigate this context. This is all growth and adaptation. And a part of this growth and adaptation is continually trying to keep abreast of who is listening, who is liking, subscribing, downloading, and interacting. One company whose job it is to track such measures has just informed us that rural folks seem to enjoy their radio stations a little more than city folk. New data from Edison Research shows that those who live in rural areas spend a much higher portion of their audio listening time with AM and FM radio. They also spend about 43% of their daily listening time with traditional radio stations. A nearly 10% difference in contrast, urban listeners track at about 34% of their time listening to traditional AM or FM radio. The differences carry over to podcasting, but in the inverse. Urban listeners spend more than twice as much of their daily podcast listening as rural listeners, with city folk tracking at about 13% of their daily audio time with podcasts, in contrast to 6% for rural folk. And that is a striking difference. Suburban listeners for both podcasts and radio tend to fall in the middle. So at least according to this data, which looks solely at the U.S. market, there are some clear differences in who consumes what based on where they live. The question is, would that alter your strategy? Or would you emphasize more resources in your existing approach? I've always been fascinated to learn where our listeners are based. Some regions are not surprising, based on our social media activity and interaction in those markets. Other regions of listeners have totally surprised us. As a result of learning who is behind the listening end of things, we've adapted some of our content, or at least the frequency of publishing some topics. Data such as urban versus rural listenership could impact a lot of things, including content, sponsorship opportunities, types of social and traditional media campaigns, even user engagement and podcast growth strategies. It's data like this that helps radio continue to grow and adapt and to fuel the popularity and reach of podcasts. And the best advice we constantly give ourselves when we learn some surprising results? Well, don't be afraid to change the model. I think that was Reed Hastings of Netflix who once said something like that. Remember, that was the company that began by selling mail-order DVDs. You've been listening to Before, Behind, and Between, a podcast of Henley Point.
This program is available on all streaming apps and podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, TuneIn, and YouTube. Visit henleypoint.ca or stephenchristiansen.ca for more information and archived episodes of this program. I'm your host, Stephen Christiansen. Thanks for listening. Production of Henley Point.